Did you know that rabbits can actually die from a heat stroke? It's true. The ideal temperature for rabbits is from 12 degrees Celsius to about 21 degrees Celsius. But they can still handle temperatures up to 30 degrees Celsius. However, they will not be as comfortable. Any temperature that's beyond 30 degrees Celsius poses a threat of heat stroke. What is a heat stroke, you might ask? Well, a heat stroke is basically when a rabbit overheats to the point where they can no longer regulate their own body temperature. And this can be extremely dangerous. It can also be fatal in some cases. So, in this video, we'll be discussing tips as to how you can keep your rabbit cool during summers and prevent them from getting a heat stroke. This video is a collaboration with Heaven Bunnies. Heaven Bunnies is this really, really great YouTube channel that is run by a very kind and helpful person. She has five rabbits. Their names are Clyde, Benny, Lenny, Fanny, and Melbourne. They also have an Instagram account, so you should definitely go subscribe to their YouTube channel if you haven't already, and also follow them on Instagram. The links will be there in the description box below. This video caters more to indoor rabbits and how you can keep them cool in these summers, but you can always improvise on these tips and use them for outdoor rabbits living in a safe habitat. Heaven Bunnies, on the other hand, has actually made a video specifically for outdoor rabbits, how to keep them cool in these summers, but you can always take those tips and improvise them as well and use them for indoor rabbits. So make sure that you check out her video as well. The link to her video will be in the description box. All right, so let's get started. The first tip is to avoid polyester and fleece material as they're flooring. This is important because these materials can actually trap the heat. So whenever your bunny would lay down or sit on that flooring, it's going to make your bunny feel a whole lot more warm and you really don't want that in the summer months. So a better alternative would be to use cotton bed sheets. They have pores in them that allow the air to pass through. As a result of that, heat does not get trapped. So it's definitely a much better option for your rabbit. Adding to this first tip is the second tip, which is to spray some water on your cotton sheets or just dampen them basically so that whenever your rabbit wants to lay down on them, your rabbit can relax and feel a whole lot more cooler. Make sure you do not completely drench the cotton bed sheet. Just dampen it a bit, okay? And don't force your rabbit to lay on it. Your rabbit will most likely come to it and lay on it because of how cool it will feel. The next step is to provide them with cool and wet greens. What this means is, you give them vegetables that are high in water content and that are cool for them to eat. You can do some research and there are certain vegetables that are better to be given during summer months and so you should give it to them. Another thing to do is that whenever you give them vegetables, make sure that you take them out of the refrigerator then and there so that they're still a bit cool. And whenever you wash them, firstly, you need to wash them thoroughly. But once you're done washing them, let some water stay, so that way they're going to get some extra water with the veggies as well. Moving on to the next tip, which is to change their water frequently. It goes without saying, rabbits need to drink water, and you should be providing them with water every single day. But during the summer months, there are chances that your rabbit may drink up water way more and way faster, so make sure you're changing their water a whole lot more frequently. Adding on to this point is the next tip, which is to add some ice to their water. This is a great method to make sure their water stays cooler for longer. Moving on to the next tip, which is to mist their ears. The thing is, rabbits actually regulate their body temperature with the help of their ears. So what happens is, as the body temperature rises, the blood vessels in a rabbit's ears will expand and the blood flow through the rabbit's ears will increase. As a result, their ears will warm up. 
This is also why feeling a rabbit's ears is one of the ways of finding out whether or not he or she is feeling too hot. Because when you do touch the ears and they feel too warm, that could mean that the rabbit is feeling too hot. So you can either make your hands slightly wet and touch your rabbit's ears with that, or what you can do is dampen a cloth and wipe it on your rabbit's ears, or you can get a spray bottle and and slightly spray some water on your rabbit's ears and, you know, basically mist their ears. The next tip is to groom your rabbit more. The reason you should groom your rabbit more during summers is because the loose fur is actually increasing the amount of heat that stays with them and that's making them feel more warm. So by you grooming them, that loose fur will come off and it will be good for your rabbit. Another very important point to keep in mind would be to avoid direct sunlight for long hours. This is especially important if your rabbit is going to live in a specific area of the house because they need to have some sort of place they can go to in order to get shade, in order to relax, that does not have direct sunlight. So there should be a part of that area that does not get direct sunlight and there should be hideouts, there should be tunnels. Please, please avoid plastic hideouts because when the sunlight falls on it and like the heat that's there, it actually makes it extremely hot inside the hideout. So inside the plastic hideout, it gets so, so hot in there. It's just not safe for your rabbit. So avoid plastic hideouts, but do use other hideouts and tunnels over there. And if there is sunlight coming inside the room, then do make sure that you draw the curtains, especially during the afternoon time, because that's when the sun is at its peak. So keep that in mind. Moving on to the next tip. The next tip would be to switch on the air conditioner or the fan so that your rabbit can get cool air. Here we talk about a really nice DIY that you can make for your rabbit so that they can get cool air. To make this, you're going to need a fan, an electric fan. It shouldn't be too big. And you're going to need a wet cloth. Do not place the wet cloth on top of the fan. Make sure there's space between them. And basically place it in a way that the fan blows out the cold air. No, the fan blows out the air that passes through the wet cloth. And that way, the air that comes out of it is going to be cool. And yeah, that's basically the DIY over there. Moving on to the next tip, which is to make sure that there's ventilation. It should not get stuffy in the house. Open the windows, let some air in, let some fresh air in, and let the inside air go out. It's really important to make sure that there's ventilation. The last tip for now is to make a DIY water bottle cooler. It's super easy to make, and it's very effective in helping your rabbit cool down. Most rabbits really do enjoy laying down beside this, and if you'd like to know how you can make it and how you can use it, then hop over to the video that Heaven Bunnies made, because she talks about this in her video. Alright, so that's it for this video. Hopefully this was of help. Thank you so much for watching. Hope that you have a great day ahead.